Welcome back to Eurosport for the last race. Looks like Caroline Alexander is holding her lead over Paola Pezzo. In fact, she's in, she's improving that lead over the Italian. I would just like to mention briefly, though, a letter I had from Glenn Bennett in Derbyshire telling me what Lyme disease was. Um, the affliction that's affecting uh, uh, Julia Furtado. Apparently, it's a deer tick that causes uh, arthritis and various other symptoms. So, thank you very much, Glenn, for that. Can even cause meningitis as we look at Caroline Alexander. Looks like she's struggling up that climb, but I think she's got a good enough gap now on her last lap. Come on, Caroline. Very, very strong rider. Not riding the Richie Hard uh, soft tail that uh, Frischnet rode last year. She's, of course, she got the front suspension on, but the soft tail, it was like a uh, dual suspended bike with about, about an inch of movement at the back, but then she decided to have a, a rigid rear end as Decor goes through in third spot, followed in fourth by Nadia De Negri, the Bianchi Martini rider. She's over three minutes behind Alexander. The 25-year-old uh, De Negri, former walker. She was a five-time Italian champion. As we look at Pezzo going through the single track, I think the uh, the pace of Alexandra is clearly telling on her. And Caroline really looks like she's got the hammer down now. Just looking behind her. Taking it very carefully around that bend. The British rider came fourth in the World Cup last year. Her best position in a World Cup race has been second place. She was second in Bromont last year. Petso following her. I think it's too much of a task for her to catch Alexander. Decor as well, the Trek VW rider. Used to ride for GT last year. A third spot in Napa Valley in the first round. Didn't go to Wellington, but she's not going to catch this woman. Caroline Alexander. Could this be the first Grundig World Cup win for Caroline Alexander, the Ritchie rider from Great Britain? Previous best, second in Bromont in 1996 and second in Spain and Mammoth in 1994. But she's going to go one better this year. As the motorbike leads her onto the velodrome, this is going to be the first Grundig World Cup win for Caroline Alexander. A smile on her face as she completes four and a half laps in 2.13.38. A fabulous win for the British rider, Caroline Alexander. Being co congratulated there by her team manager, he will be very happy. Caroline just stops her own personal watch. I'm sure her fiancé Barry Clark, the rally rider, will be very, very pleased for her as Paola Pezzo, winner of the first two rounds, comes into the finish. She's coming through. Just about a minute and a, minute and a half behind Alexander. Good riding. What's happened to Sido? I don't know whether it's the toll of the previous two rounds, but then again, Petzo did those as well. But Chantal Decor, always the happy rider. Such a bubbly, vivacious character. She is pleased. Her second, third spot. She was third Napa Valley. Didn't go to Wellington. A good ride from the uh, bronze medalist from the 1995 World. Well, I didn't go to New Zealand. Um, I had a very bad luck in Napa, double puncture. And then I, I wasn't planning on going to New Zealand. And then I, even with no result in San Francisco, I still went home and stuck to my original program and trained very hard while the others were sitting on aeroplanes and, and getting tired. And then I had an easy week this week, and yeah, I just uh, I just had wings. <laughs> now you have confirmation of Alexander's win. She wins in 2.12.38. Petso second, 1.31 behind. Decor third, 2.46 behind. 
Denegri was fourth, Alison Seidel, World Cup winner from last year was fifth. Alison Dunlap, the former road rider, was sixth with a brilliant ride from Louise Robinson, the British rider, in ninth spot. The other British rider to race here, 29th spot for Jenny Cocknell riding for Bike Park Rally. But they, there you have the standings after three rounds. Petso in front, she's in first place, Sidor second, 